overcoming trauma and loss during midlife, second chances that come in an unexpected way. We seek, but we cannot find. Perhaps we're looking amongst the branches for what can only be found in the roots, as the great poet Rumi illustrated. Welcome to the Austin James Haynes podcast. It is Veterans Day 2024. I'm recording this. It's 5.09 p.m. And this is Valley Forge National Park, this historic place. Behind me is the arch that forever stands to remind us of the battle for freedom. And speaking of second chances, although this is not a history podcast, it's important to draw the fact that Valley Forge is really a place of second chances because the forces were pushed out of Philadelphia due to the British and they came here to unify, to strengthen so that they could have that second chance to fight for freedom. And the history books will tell us that that's what happened, that we did in fact earn our right for freedom. And of course there's many ways to look at history, but we know that these soldiers here battled, they dealt with hunger, cold, and thirst and they weathered the storm so that I can be doing this podcast from this very site today to talk about overcoming trauma and loss and second chances. So I want to honor all of our veterans out there. I want to take a moment to just pause and breathe and to set this up on this Veterans Day 2024. My dad was born on Veterans Day. He was a Vietnam veteran. He enlisted. He avoided the draft so that he could choose his fate and become a Marine. And so it was. He fought for our country in the Vietnam War, which to this day is a very controversial war. Um, and that's for another day. But today is a day to honor all the people that have fought for this country. And let's just take a moment to pause and breathe here as we open up this podcast. The sun has just set in front of me. I'm facing west behind me is the monument and if you're on the audio feel free to come over to youtube at austin james haynes to check the visual visuals here <clears throat> so i'm going to just take a moment to pause and breathe and pan around with the video to just take a moment to honor our veterans and if you have a veteran in your life that you want to honor take a moment to pause and breathe and let's honor them right now breathe in through your nose just take a moment of silence Welcome back, everyone, as the 70-degree 70, 70 day is being pushed out from the colder autumn air of the evening. But I want to share a story about second chances. Even though it's a story about my dad, it includes me and second chances. I'm not going to get into my childhood here, but it was rough. It was rough. And as I aged, things slightly improved. Of course, my parents were split up. But the interesting thing here, and the story I want to dive into, is my dad when he hit midlife. At age 51, my dad had a stroke, a near life-ending stroke he had an aneurysm that burst and the prognosis was that he wouldn't make it for two years that within two years he would be dead I was a young man at this time and I distinctly remember arriving at the hospital after my dad's stroke I had had a stressful day I didn't eat right I was dealing with my own stress and I remember going into the hospital bathroom and because my blood sugar was low and I didn't eat, I was, wasn't hydrated. And then the stress of my dad, I literally passed out in the hospital bathroom. Well, the story unfolded and my dad beat the odds. He got a second chance. 
his second chance was his because as his body broke down and he reflected on his life and I, I can't go into his whole story because he was very internal about the trauma from PTSD that he had experienced in the Vietnam War. I found out later that he had a man die in his arms. I never knew this until after he left in 2018 when he passed in January. But the second chance for me was the ability to make peace with my parents, to make peace with my childhood, and then to love my parents through their flaws. We come to learn that the people around us, the people that we love are flawed people. But we also learn very quickly with a trauma like this, that life is precious, that the moments are precious, and that at any given moment, life can change. And we seek answer, answers, we look amongst the branches to find answers. But as Rumi said, but perhaps those answers are only found in the roots. Perhaps the roots are revealed when we go through a difficult time, a trauma, which forces us metaphorically to go into our own roots, to become reflective, to realize that we can't control life on our timeline and it forces us to open up. As Rumi also illustrated, when I lose myself, I find myself. And perhaps you, you lose this perception of the way things should be. And then you let it go and you find yourself. You find some truth in yourself, a raw authenticity that perhaps wouldn't have been discovered any other way. <sighs> Take a moment to pause and breathe. And breathe in through your nose. And with each breath, you open up to your journey your current midlife situation. And perhaps you're realizing, yes, I can't control anymore. I'm, I need to let go. I need to relinquish. I need to look at the roots. My story and my dad's story unfolded. I forgave my dad for anything that I thought he did or didn't do growing up, growing up in a divorced family. And we loved each other and we had a peace. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. My dad was a, a soldier through and through, as I said. He was a very say it like it is kind of a person, oftentimes abrasive and abrupt, but if you were going into the trenches, he was a man, he was a man that you would want next to you. That is for sure. Heart, strength, honor, lots of ego at times. But I didn't get the childhood that I sought. And maybe I didn't get the parents that I thought but I got the parents I needed. And through this story of life unfolding for my dad and for me, we got a second chance after his stroke to get to know each other better, to understand each other better, and to open up to life more, even though we didn't fully know. And I know my dad 
fully didn't understand. He was very internal when it came to his emotions and the trauma that he had dealt with. And maybe there was some hidden code of ethics where you don't talk about it. You don't bring it up, it's your battle. And holding that in over a period of many, many years, perhaps the battle that, that's the battle that enrages in the person, in these veterans that come back and that have battled you know, we think the battle is the physical battle on the front line, but we're oblivious to the battle that rages on each inside of every veteran that has faced death, faced trauma, loss. As I said, my dad had a man die in his arms and I never knew it. And perhaps my dad carried that man all the days of his life thinking that it maybe should have been him. While this story isn't perfect, and even when my dad passed, we didn't end on a good note. You see, he wanted to light up a cigarette and I got upset because I wanted him to rehab and heal, but he stuck to his guns. He went out to the porch to smoke and I left and that night he died and I got the call early in the morning it's always a sign I got the call early that morning broke down in tears and, and you may say wow that's that's sad sad you may look amongst the branches what can only be found in the roots my dad almost died at 51 he lived to be over 70 we had many moments of connection in the roots not the branches to so those final moments the last time I saw my dad alive wasn't what I would think but it was what it was supposed to be we can't script this stuff we can only go to the roots and reflect and to reference Rumi lose some part of ourselves lose ourselves but what we're losing is some identification to what we thought it should be. And what we gain is what it really is. And when we accept what it really is, a deep rooted peace, the deep roots in which we find ourselves. Pause and breathe. In through your nose, soften your face. <sighs> Exhale through your mouth. And regardless of where your level of acceptance is in this moment, a squirrel running ahead above me. You may feel like, Austin, I, I can't accept this in this moment. And I just want you to honor that. Call it to the light if you can't accept it. If you're looking amongst the branches and the leaves have dropped and you're disappointed about the way things have played out, what's important is to honor what's real and what's real in this moment is how you feel. I want to call, your, call you to the light of how you feel right now. And just accept what that is for you. As I close out, I was unsure of what to expect here. I wasn't sure if I should do this podcast today. As I close out, I'm very glad that I did. And I know this is going to reach you. I thank you for listening to the Austin James Haynes podcast. 
On the next episode, I'm going to do a summary of what I've accomplished so far with this season three. I believe this is like the 10th or 11th podcast. I want to do a recap podcast to draw your attention on specific topics and things that you can take advantage of and also all the opportunities for you to continue to go from maybe being a passive listener. Maybe there's an active opportunity. Maybe you're feeling like it's time for a change and you're ready to take a step. We can talk about that on the next episode. I honor you, I honor all the veterans out there on this special day, and as I pointed out on an earlier video, the Grand Parade Meadow is on the other side of the park, and metaphorically that park, that meadow, is an area that is known of great change and unification, and I think that's a great message. Despite what's going on, we say polarity is always at play. Polarity is always at play, and in that polarity, we can still unify and we can create great positive change in ourselves, in our families, in our communities, in our cities, and in our country. God bless you, everyone. God bless our veterans. We love you, and I'll see you on the very next episode. And if you're on the video, if you're on the video, I'm going to let the arch behind me light up just take a moment to pause and breathe and honor that special veteran or all veterans um, that you that you have in your life if you're on the audio i invite you to come over to the youtube channel and make sure you subscribe just subscribe it helps me continue to do this god bless you Bye for now. We'll see you on the next episode.